Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you new to joining me here, my name is Shannon Windsor. And today I wanna to share with you my Viome, Gut Microbiome Intelligence Test Results with you and answer the question I often get asked, is it worth it? If you haven't heard of Viome before, I added a link in the comments so you can just go to their website and check them out for yourself. And just before we jump into my results, there's a few things that I want to share about me that I'm going to reference along the way. The first thing is that last year I ordered some specific markers on my blood work panel, which confirmed that I had Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition. So I had a number of symptoms that went along with it, which is why I ordered that specific blood work to be done. So with that, I'd been following an anti-inflammatory nutrition plan up until about a month prior to my biome test. So I've actually become a bit of a specialist in my own health condition since I was finding very few answers through the conventional medicine system. So that's going to come into play a little bit later. So if you or someone you know, maybe a family member or a spouse or a close friend has Hashimoto's or an autoimmune condition, let me know in the comments. Maybe you or they can relate to some of my story along the way. The second thing that is really interesting, and might be what coincides with some of my biome results, is that in addition to being an integrative quantum practitioner, I've also worked as a paramedic on the advanced life support team for the last eight years, which, as you can imagine, would incur a lot of additional stressors. So while I've been doing a lot of healthy behaviors to regulate my nervous system, um, including having some time away from the pre-hospital hospital setting for a while, I'm seeing some really interesting biomarkers for stress in my biome results. So let me know in the comments if you or someone you know is a first responder or if they work in the pre-hospital or hospital setting. I'm just curious, maybe they can relate also to pieces of my story as I go and move along my journey. Okay, let's dive so in. So with this test, you're really getting the bigger picture of what's happening in your body at a cellular level based on the expression of your genes right now. While our DNA never changes, the expression of our genes change over time and based on our environment, which is where epigenetics comes in, which is an amazing topic of its own um, and definitely worth diving into. So what do you get? A lot. You get a lot of information with any of the tests from Biome. However, I feel like since my last test that I did with Biome two years ago, that they've done a lot of upgrades and also made it much easier to view and follow the recommendations on their app. So with the full body intelligence test with the gut, cellular, and oral health kit, the one that I did, you get health scores, which include up to 50 different health scores that might help any underlying contributors to your poor health. So some of those categories are oral health, cellular energy and efficiency, inflammation response, um, brain and cognitive health, immune system health, heart and metabolic health. Uh, and it also gives you your biological age. So I'm curious, put in the comments what you think my biological age is. Okay. Let's log into my account and see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, welcome to my Viome homepage. Obviously, the app looks a little bit different in the way that it's laid out, but it's easier for me to share it to you guys off of my computer screen than it is off of my app. So let's look, first of all, at my nutrition. So on the avoids list, you guys, we've got asparagus, barley, bell peppers, broccoli. So bell peppers and broccoli, Brussels sprouts, anything in the brassic family also, like none of those surprised me. They were on my avoids list for Viome the last time that I did the test. I avoided them for a really long time and followed my autoimmune and anti-inflammatory nutrition style of eating, which basically cuts out all nightshade foods. And those are included in the nightshade foods. So um, I cut those out until for, for several months until the summer when I started, I had my own garden, right? And so I was growing in addition to all the other things, um, broccoli and bell peppers. And so started slowly introducing those into my nutrition again. But according to my gut microbiome, I need to not have those <laughs> in my nutrition again for a while. So we will see how that goes. So the great thing before I continue on in all my avoid foods, because I know people love seeing that, but the great thing is you can actually click on 
why it's an avoid to find out why it's an avoid food for you. So your microbiome contains pepper mild mottled virus, which is known to infect bell pepper. Since plant viruses in the microbiome have been associated with enhanced immune response, it is recommended for you to avoid bell peppers. Avoiding bell peppers may improve your, improve your oxalate metabolism pathway score, right? To avoid all forms of this food cooked or raw for 30 consecutive days, then reintroduce it slowly in small amounts to see how your body reacts. So I've already done that. So I wonder how long um, or what I need to change in my gut microbiome, which is going to be in their supplements line. Um, you know, what I need to change in my gut microbiome to make that more sustainable because that where I live is a big part of food, <laughs> my nutrition. So you got Brussels, spr Brussels sprouts. Uh, I don't even ever eat bulgur. So I don't have to worry about that. You know, cabbage, couscous, kamut, mustard, greens, rice noodles, right? So spreaded uh, rye bread, spreaded wheat bread. Um, I just ate turnip prior, about a week prior to getting this test done. So, and then of course it talks about foods that I feel like, you know, it's pretty commonplace at this point in time, foods that everybody should avoid. So you guys can read that um, kind of on your own, right? So now let's look at what are my superfoods? <laughs> help, help the sprouts, top of the list. Apples are my superfood. Oh, let's take the avoid off so we can just see superfoods. Um, black pepper, blackberry, which is great. I have my own thornless blackberry bushes. So that's fantastic. I have my own blueberry bushes, which is great. Um, bone broth. Okay. All the different cloves, coconut oils, cranberry, right? So you kind of get the ideas you go through here. I don't eat goat. There's something about the taste with like goat milk and <laughs> goat itself, Grapefruit, I've been eating quite a lot. I just did. Uh, I'm in the process of doing a really great liver detox right now. Um, and green tea. Oh my gosh. West home tea. Unbelievable organic tea. Uh, it's local to where I live as well. Jerusalem artichoke. I mean, that's not actually that easy to find. I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not finding it that easily. Nectarines, olive oil, oregano is great. I grow all the herbs in my house. I grow all the herbs. So rosemary is my favorite. So I was excited to see that on my superfoods on all of our big dinners. I use all of our herbs. So that's really great. Papaya is definitely not one that's easy to come by. Certainly not local here on the PNW BC on Vancouver Island. Um, pomegranates, you know. Uh, salmon, super common here, like easy for me to get a hold of. And I love salmon. So that's great. I love mushrooms, sauerkraut. I like, so that's interesting when people say, oh my gosh, like you can't eat cabbage, but sauerkraut is your superfood. Um, and obviously this is fermented, right? So it makes a big difference. It completely changes like all of the, um, microbes and everything like that. When you ferment something, right? So sauerkraut contains probiotics, which are beneficial microbes. After analyzing your microbe, uh, sorry, your microbiome and taking your data into, an, into account, it has been determined that sauerkraut in your diet will be optimal for you. Probiotics restore and promote diversity and balance in your microbiome. This helps to decrease and prevent inflammation, manage symptoms, of gastrointestinal distress, promote regularity, and balance your immune responses. A diverse microbiome also optimizes conversion of dietary nutrients to enhance your health. Sauerkraut may improve your inflammatory activity score. <laughs> so good to know, because I do have sauerkraut in my house. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, those are one of my favorite time, uh, tomatoes. Oh, I'm so thankful. I did so many canning, so much canning of tomatoes. You guys <laughs> this year, I grew a lot of tomatoes. Um, and again, it was similar situation that was on my autoimmune list of not, not to eat. Um, and I had slowly introduced those. in. so I'm really excited that out of all of those nightshades, at least some of them, um, I'm allowed to have introduced back into my diet, according to how my gut microbiome reacts, right? 
Um, and so you can see there's like a lot of foods here. Also, they give categories, um, enjoy. And so when they tell you to enjoy it, it means these are things that you should be incorporating into your superfoods to eat regularly. So they're not your, you know, they're not the best food for you. They're not your superfood, but they're ones that you should be combining with it, right? So you shouldn't just be eating your superfood. Actually, guys, the best thing you can do is have diversity in your gut microbiome, right? That's what's going to give you, like, the more diversity you have, then the more different bacteria you have, it's going to allow you to start eating more foods again. So, so things I should enjoy are, um, you know, allspice, almond milk, uh, anchovies, apple cider vinegar. So that's awesome. Artichokes, that's great. Avocado. <laughs> I was so thankful that avocado. I saw someone that had uh, avocado on their avoids list. And I was like, Ooh, that's not a good one. That would not be great for me. I would love that. So I eat bananas, right? Like I, I do really try and eat the rainbow. Right. So, but I do want to do what's best for my body and decrease inflammation and a lot of the associated symptoms that, that come with that, right? Like pain in your body, wherever that might be, it's different for everybody. Right. Um, you know, gastrointestinal problems, like all those kind of things, right? There's a reason that people invest in doing these tests and it's because they want to improve their health, right? Your gut microbiome. And that's going to improve the way you, the way you feel overall, like your cognition, um, you know, every, every day, right? You know, if you have brain fog, so this, this goes on for a really long time. I'm like scrolling and scrolling goes wrong. Anyway, so you get the idea with that. And then you can see some of the things over here that I should minimize, which is all pretty obvious, right? Which is like foods that, you know, they're not total avoids, but they should be on your, try not to eat that list. So chicory root coffee. Oh, nobody wants to have that one in their minimizer avoid category. <laughs> Dates, um, eggs. I, were, I think eggs were actually on my avoids list last time. Eggs, and they they break it down. It's the egg yolk uh, and the egg white, right? So they break that down for you too. Garlic, which is sad. I put garlic on everything. I use garlic a lot. So anyways, you kind of see, I mean, these lists go, they're very extensive. Oh, olives. That's too bad, right? And it's um, sort of when I'm making my foods, like, you know, my, like I'm big on making like really great dinners. It's just like my jam. I love doing that. You know, some people are great with like desserts or great with breakfast or I love doing dinner. So, um, I really pay attention and I just pull out my phone on my app. It makes it a lot easier to be able to just pull it up on the, on the app on my phone and just type in some of the foods, right. That I might be wanting to add in. So like things that you would use a lot for dinners, right maybe onion, <laughs> olives, <laughs> right? Garlic, those kind of things. And sometimes in my breakfast blends, I'll use things like pecans, walnuts, um, cashews. Uh, cashews are on my enjoy list. Those kind of things, right? Potatoes minimize, that's sad. But at least I won with the sweet potatoes. Okay, you guys. So that is what is going on with all of my nutrition scores. You can actually order the supplements through Viome and it comes in different packages, but I don't think you can order to Canada at this time. So, which is where I live. So, um, let's just look though, because they give you the layout. So you can see uh, it, they have them in milligrams. They have them in micrograms as well. And then you can see down here, CFU. So different categories, right, of measurement based on uh, what it is that you're taking, right? So all these different nutrients here, um, you know, coenzyme Q10, you could be taking like QQ10, um, the uh, acai berry, apple pectin, ashwagandha. So, I mean, they, what they do is they actually make a blend. So you're not taking like a ton of different, um, you know, capsules every single day. So what Biome does is they take all of these and make your own blend and then put them in the capsules for you. And then you're getting a little bit of that every single day. Whereas sometimes when we get those things ourselves, we tend to kind of go overboard. And instead of, you know, just taking a few, mic you know, 300 or 400 micrograms of cranberry extract, you know, we're, you know, maybe we're taking, you know, double or triple that per day. So, you know, what they're doing is just, 
you know, they've got it obviously down to a science and that's what they do. So you can see here now we we're into, I've got 14 probiotics and prebiotics. Um, and so you can just, I mean, there's just a ton of stuff to look at. So it goes on and on and on. There's a lot of, um, interesting stuff. So you can, you know, select or find different products even as well that offer a lot of kind of like <laughs> stuck on that, a lot of diversity. Um, most, if you're looking at most different supplement lines, you can find something that's got like a bit of a blend. Obviously it would be most optimal to at least order for a few months. That's the thing is, is if you are able to get their supplement line, I mean, you're investing in yourself and your health for a few months and you really don't need to be taking all the other stuff that you've been taking because now you know what you should be taking. So if you look at it, from that perspective as like, Ooh, that's like an investment. And honestly, I can't quite remember what the cost is for this. Um, cause I'm not doing like a biome review, right. I'm just sharing my own personal results, but, um, you can go and look what the personal, uh, cost is of the supplements, but either way, it's just going to be an investment in yourself and your personal health. And you're going to be cutting out all of the other supplements you're taking, because why would you double and quadruple up on it, right? You're going to take the stuff now that you know is specific for you and your gut microbiome. So you guys, that is everything that I wanted to share with you, really. Um, there's some, you know, extra stuff that you can find in the more category. I think it's probably just in reference to my own personal account. But uh, thanks for joining me, you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed checking out what my Viome scores were and what is going on with Viome. And of course, there's a link in the bio if you guys do want to go check out Viome yourself and try out your own test again. They have a lot of different ones to choose from. So I encourage you to go to that link and check that out. And then let me know if you get your biome test done. I would love to hear <laughs> what some of your superfoods are, what some of your avoid foods are, and how you're feeling about that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. And don't forget to like, and we will chat soon.